Tonight, the I-Team investigates a challenge many of us are facing, how to get medical care for aging loved ones. We put a team of secret shoppers to work and discovered an acute problem impacting people who have faithfully paid into Medicare their entire working lives. Now that they need it, they're facing an upsetting surprise. Reminisce. <laughs> Northern winters were getting to me just a little bit. Beverly Frake moved to the Triangle two years ago from upstate New York. My daughter was here. She really liked it. She wanted me to come down. But she had no idea when she became a Triangle transplant, she'd be waiting to find a new doctor. I moved into this nice apartment complex, big medical complex across the street. I thought, how lucky am I? And I went there and was told in front of the waiting room, no, well, they just didn't take Medicare patients. One of the receptionists said to me, well, honey, it's just going to get worse. In our downtown Raleigh newsroom, we assembled volunteers from AARP so you do have some. to be secret shoppers. Do you take Medicare? And the I-Team discovered for triangle transplants taking new Medicare patients and people aging up into Medicare eligibility. You do not accept Medicare patients at all. It can be very difficult to find a doctor. It affects everyone. It's a nonpartisan issue because uh, we all face the issue of growing older or dealing with, with uh, the issues that, that our parents are going to go through. We had our volunteers randomly call family physicians using a list from the North Carolina Medical Society. I was checking to see if you were accepting Medicare patients. Our I-Team volunteers found nearly 50% of the 200 doctors they called no. are not taking new Medicare patients. I have many friends who have moved down here to retire and they cannot find a physician to take them. You're in the jungle with no help. It's very sad because they're coming down here to start a new life, a lot of coming to be close to family, and they have medical problems. In call, after call, after call. No new ones? Our secret shoppers discovered a government program they paid into and were promised would be there for them can lead to broken promises. Surprised that uh, in the Raleigh area there's so many people not accepting it. I've experienced it myself, and um, especially among specialists, um, they uh, just don't feel that they are being reimbursed enough money to make it uh, worthwhile. The I-Team also discovered some doctors who are accepting new and Medicare patients if they pay their own, make the patient pay the doctor out of their own pocket then get reimbursed by Medicare. Makes it more difficult and more paperwork and uh, obviously us uh, elderly people don't have the experience with all that paperwork so our chances of making a mistake and not collecting are pretty good. We took the findings of our secret shopper investigation to the federal agency in charge of Medicare. The Center for Medicare Services tells the I-Team it's surprised so many doctors are refusing to take Medicare patients here in the Triangle. The federal agency was planning its own secret shopper investigation, but pulled the plug when they got pushback from doctors. I don't do medicine for the money. Uh, I never uh, got into it to, to get rich. The, the real reward in medicine is taking care of patients and helping them feel better. Why do I have this? Dr. Joseph Shanahan was up front with the I-Team about the challenges of accepting Medicare patients. What the steroids do? The reimbursement's so low for that, in some cases $60, $80, that it's, you, it costs you more to get a plumber to come to your house than to get a rheumatologist to come to the hospital. Perfect. Dr. Shanahan says he's one of only a few rheumatologists treating Medicare patients in the triangle. Well, it's so hard to be frustrated. About they make up about 60% of his business, but pay for a small percentage of the cost to run it. The less physicians get paid, the poor quality care you're going to receive. Right now, Medicare pays him between $40 and $190 to see a new patient and between $19 and $134 for a follow-up visit. If proposed Medicare cuts kick in by the end of the year, the payments will be about 30% less. There's a point, uh, an edge, a cliff, that when we get to, I'm not going to be able to provide that top quality care. As a physician, if I can't provide I insurance. the best care, I'm not going to provide any. I really don't get it. And the Raleigh rheumatologist says he's come to that point making the difficult decision to stop taking new Medicare patients this year. Not by choice, but uh, I've got to pay off the business loan I've got and got to pay my staff um, their uh, salaries and, and whatnot, and I've got to pay my malpractice insurance. After making several dozen phone calls, Medicare is the first biller, and searching online, 
Beverly Frake finally found a primary care physician and a specialist in rheumatology. But she's worried about what will happen when she needs another specialist. My family physician cares about her patients, and I don't know what's going to happen with my next need. I guess I could move back to New York State. I don't really want to do it at this point because I really like it here. Medicare officials tell the I-Team 98% of doctors here in North Carolina have agreed to participate in the program. That's an increase, they say, of about 1,000 doctors from last year. But that figure does not tell you how many patients those doctors are willing to treat and how many people, like our secret shoppers, are turned down when they try to find a doctor here in the Triangle.